how would you characterise it? Is it a phased reopening? And to what extent does it really unblock supply chains, manufacturing and ultimately economic activity? Well, obviously, today is a big day for Shanghai after a two-month uh, lockdown. And as you just show some footage, uh, the residents in Shanghai were celebrating uh, last night. And uh, just this morning, I've seen a lot of traffic and people on the street. So people are getting back to uh, their normal lives. But as far as um, uh, manufacturing and uh, supply chains uh, resumption, it's going to take some time. But officially, starting from today, uh, if you are in a low-risk area, you can go back to work. And I I know many companies are restarting, including many U.S. companies in Shanghai. Does this imply then, Eric, that the leadership is rethinking entirely the zero COVID policy? Uh, at this point, I mean, the, the officially the dynamic zero COVID policy is still in place, and, and I don't think that will be changed. Uh, as far as managing uh, specific cases, uh, I think hopefully uh, there are lessons to be learned from Shanghai. When you lock down an entire city of over 25 million people, there's, there are huge economic costs associated with that. So hopefully going forward, uh, they will deal with the, uh, uh, the containment in a different way. But officially, the zero policy, zero COVID policy will remain. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.